Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mike from Yamon Custom Models. This is uh, part six. So it's been 24 hours, and um, the Evie's epoxy should be. Uh, Should be cured, so I'm gonna remove that. There we go. <clears throat> so yeah, there you go. Looks great. At this point, we're uh, doing some work on the shorts these are not going to be jeans that he's wearing these are more of that spandex or jogging type stuff that he wore in his comics so so this is a trim clad uh, primer that I'm using thinned it out a little bit because I've been using this for my uh, my airbrush so here it is now with uh, three coats of primer I'm not sure why it's shiny like this but uh, I guess it doesn't really matter because I gotta sand it down um, these little pinholes here as you can see this kit when I every time I, I pull it out of the mold it always has this is actually pretty good because normally there's a lot more uh, pinholes than this as you can see um, but what I use for this sorry I didn't realize that I left it upstairs um, this is what I use to fill in those little pinholes it's called uh, dry decks as you can see it's basically drywall putty and um, out of the tub it's uh, pink and basically what I do is I just apply it in these little pinholes here and it really does the trick because it uh, it fills them right in and uh, you know it's dry when it turns white. And once it's dry, you can just basically sand it with your finger. You don't even have to like use any sandpaper, really. Um, that's how soft this kind of stuff is. And what I would do is I just go over it again with the um, with the primer, and it'll seal it in. And just a quick side note here: um, I had a lot of this drywall stuff that was dried up on the on the edges on the side of the of this little tub so actually I, I poured it in a little bit of uh, windshield washer fluid just a little bit and I started breaking off all the hard pieces that were on the side into the center and just kept you know uh, agitating it and mashing it and stirring it and uh, look at that like brand new uh, brand new putty you really only need just a little bit like this really and uh, and I'm talking about these little pinholes. I mean, if it's a bigger, um, a bigger air pocket or an air uh, bubble or something that needs to be filled, I would highly recommend using uh, something a little bit more stronger, uh, epoxy putty, or um, you know, there's so many different types out there on the market. So I would normally use the uh, Avi's epoxy to do something like that. But like I said, these pinholes are so tiny, um, it really does does go a long way, you know. And as I said, it uh, once it dries, it dries white, and uh, you'll know it's ready. And you can literally just sand it with your your finger, and then just brush on or spray on another coat of uh, primer, and it seals it up. Okay, so I just went over a few other spots. I went very generously, and as you can see, I'm just going over now with my finger. Just kind of rubbing over the areas that that have some excess. And you can see the little pinholes that were here are filled. And my finger is literally just um, wiping away some excess. See that this this is great stuff I mean I, I've used it a lot on this type of uh, resin figures and it really saves a lot of time because with the Avi's epoxy you know you got to wait 
you know, a good 24 hours before it dries and, and all that. So this just speeds up um, a lot of that time. Now again, of course, it's only for the uh, small pinholes. Um, if it's anything bigger, uh, then yes, I would recommend using uh, something a little bit more stronger like AVs and then in which case you would have to wait um, that length of time for it to cure so but you can see how easy that was I mean it's just a simple uh, applying it over the spots it just running running it all over the areas it fills in all the little little pits and all the little air bubbles and there are some areas where it's uh, you know there's some detail but you know you can just use a brush and and take some of that away. Uh, I don't want it to. I don't want to fill in some of the wrinkles that he may have on his back, like you can see there. So, in some spots, yeah, you can actually go in and really um, take some of that uh, plaster out. But generally, it uh, it fills in a lot of the the pinholes, and that's basically what you want. So. All right, folks. Here's the end result. Like I said, using that uh, Drydex uh, drywall putty. Those uh, little pinholes that were located in this area are now all filled in. I'm gonna go over it again. I'm gonna do a light little sanding. Just kind of go over um, the body. Get it looking nice and smooth. And uh, this will be ready for for a base coat. Yeah, he's gonna look pretty badass.